Hello, in this Kotlin programming video, I am going to show you recursion. So what is recursion? Recursion is just when a function calls itself and therefore that function calls itself and it just keeps on going. You generally want some sort of terminating conditions for, you know, preventing it from calling itself infinitely. Otherwise, the application will just hang. So let me just create a function. I want to call it fun. I mean, fun is the keyword for function. So I want to call it count. I'm going to call it count up. And what we're going to do is pass in a parameter. Call this number. And it's going to be an integer. And now what we are going to say is whatever value we get here, we are going to start at zero. So we're going to say print line number, but we're going to call this method. So we're going to say count up. And instead of passing in number, what we are going to do is say next number equals or you know equals itself plus one and uh, no, at the moment it don't exist it, it, it equals number plus one and now that's what we're going to pass in and if we run this let's see what we get obviously i haven't actually called a method yet so i need to put count up and let's say for the 10 So it's compiling as you can see you know it's, it's had a problem and the problem is it just kept going kept going and it it, it was counting too many times so it's, it's essentially crashed so instead what we want to do is 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 actually sorry i was meant to start here at zero i was meant to say So what we're going to say is we're going to have two numbers. So we're going to have number and we're going to have starting number, colon, int. And the this isn't starting number. That is. So we're going to say starting number is 0. And the number we want to count to is 10. So we're going to say print starting number. Next number is starting number plus one. And let's see what we get. Ah, sorry, we need two. So the next one, or the second parameter should be number, which is the, the final number the end destination you could say that destination number or end value and again it has the same problem it's just running too many times and it's in the application is crashing so, but instead what we want to do is here we want to do a check if starting number is less than no, basically the end number then we want to call this method so we want to have recursion. Otherwise, we've hit the destination. And if we look, any moment now. As you can see, it counts up. That's a very simple example of recursion. There are some really, really cool things you can do, such as factorial numbers. And I recommend, as an extra task, looking into factorial numbers and basically calculating a factorial function if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video